everyone that works at the VA is on the same page and we all have the same mission, which is to take care of veterans. And so having that same mission coupled with the fact that we have researchers embedded in our hospitals, we have a culture of innovation, that allows us to do things that could never happen in the private sector. We are exploring new materials and new ways to provide better services more effectively. The recumbent bike is a relatively new thing for us. It works by activating the paralyzed muscles with very small amounts of electric current. And by timing the activation of those paralyzed muscles with the crank cycle, we can allow disabled vets who have paralysis to exercise either on a trainer or actually progress to pedaling over ground. It allows them to be outside and members of the community, they feel engaged, a feeling of freedom moving under their own power. One of the innovation programs that we have here is the exoskeleton program, and the exoskeleton is a robotic suit that helps veterans who acquired the spinal cord injury to stand up and walk back on their feet. It made a significant difference in their quality of life and um, achievement towards restoring some of the mobility. This is a great honor that we are just really helping people who uh, risk their life for the entire country. Three D printing is a really cool technology. It's a way of making objects layer by layer. Beautiful thing about it is it really works well with medical imaging data. So when we image a person, we take layers of images, find the important anatomy within that image. Let's say it's your heart. So we can trace out the heart within those images and then send that to a 3D printer that will rebuild your exact heart in three-dimensional space. Patients have got to understand the procedure that they've agreed to undergo. When you can have a 3D printed model of not just any aorta, but their aorta, the patient finally understands exactly what we're going to do for them, and they can ask the proper questions. We're getting more and more materials that act or mimic real biological tissue, so that you can feel the muscle, and you can feel the coarse calcifications that are causing disease. That's just over the last year or two, and it's gonna keep growing. I'm excited to see what comes next. With every generation of veterans, they face unique challenges and ones that we can't possibly predict. As our population changes, we must be agile enough and innovative enough to meet their needs quickly and in real time. Transcending Self Therapy, or TST, is a form of integrative cognitive behavioral therapy. TST is a little unique in that it really emphasizes the moral compass or spiritual beliefs that patients have and then tries to develop a way so that they can live in accordance with those belief systems. That was something totally new to me. Instead of like focusing everything on the 12 steps, it was on challenging your thoughts, your feelings. Are they true? Are they helpful? So these guys, yes, they have substance abuse issues. The opioid problems that we're experiencing in this country are horrible but we're seeing a lot of progress and the innovations we're allowed to make here um, seems to be helping to address those. All we're trying to do is help them understand their thinking patterns and behavior patterns which lead to depression and substance abuse. I'm thinking about in the long run what me and my family, my fiance, my stepson, gotta be able to take care of them. We see patients coming back and saying, this is my 10th rehab, or this is my fifth rehab, it finally clicked. For some of our veterans, being seen at a place that's comfortable for them is essential, being able to provide the care that they need. We have an innovation happening right now that we call Mobile Ops, that stands for Mobile Orthotics and Prosthetic Services. We're breaking down barriers to care uh, for some of our veterans that are having uh, challenges coming to see us at our VA facilities. As simple as it sounds, it's also radical. So Matthew is the gentleman who has worn a prosthesis for many years but generally not been very comfortable. We've now made uh, three or four sockets for him. 
uh, the last of which we're trying on today, and we're hopeful that this will be uh, a really good fit. I was refusing to go into the VA and take care of my prosthetics. I was walking around on a leg for three years, it was broken. I was so scared to go out in public, you know, and have a panic attack or some kind of adrenaline rush. I feel very privileged, you know, to have the VA come into my home to do my prosthetic care. Seeing the VA taking another step forward to offer a service like this really shows me that they are paying attention to things, they are taking the veterans' feedback, and they genuinely care. I mean, this leg is phenomenal, you know, and it has allowed me to do some great things with my life. The future of VHA innovation is an exciting one. We're partnering with academia, we're partnering with industry to bring cutting edge solutions into the VA. It's not only that we get to innovate to help the veterans here, but now it's spreading across the country. Innovation's hard. It's not easy. You know, it's a lot of hitting walls. It's a lot of no's. It's a lot of failures and it's a lot of frustrations. So why do we innovate? It's because we know that once we get it right, we're gonna really change patients' lives. And that's why we do it.